One of the most frequently asked questions I get regarding iPads is if you could use a mouse or if there's a Bluetooth mouse available. Basically, how can I use a mouse on an iPad? Well, there's no cursor on the iPad for the mouse. Even if you had a mouse, what would you move? Because it's all touchscreen. But if you use Citrix, there is a way to kind of use like a trackpad. And that's what this video is about. So first you got to have Bluetooth turned on. Let's launch Citrix on. So what you do is you go to settings and then advanced. Once it loads up, I'm going to select wireless trackpad. Tapping settings, advanced, wireless trackpad. Select pair on the iPad you wish to connect. Pair. Confirm con connection. Yes. All right. So that worked. Now I could use this as a trackpad. I don't know how useful it is because I don't know how to do like a right mouse click. Let's see, I'm pressing and holding down. That does nothing. What if, can I? Yeah. So uh, I'm not sure what good this does. Okay, look at that. I heard like. You could do like a. I don't know how to do a right mouse click. You know, without being able to right mouse click, it's almost pointless. It's actually, kind of cool. So anyway, that's how you kind of use a mouse on the iPad. But I'm pretty sure this is not what everybody's looking for. It'd be cool if you could like just move the mouse around or move the iPhone around as a mouse. But for now we got the trackpad. It's better than nothing, I guess. I don't know. If you're an IT person and you've been looking for a solution because everybody that's using Citrix on the iPad says you know, hey, is there is there a mouse for the i for the iPad? Now you could say, well, kind of, and show them this little trick. At least you provided a workaround. It's not the optimum solution, but it's something. So anyway, that's how you do it. The steps again on Citrix on the iPhone. Tap Settings, Advanced, and then Wireless Trackpad, and then pair it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Technuba. Technuba.